I think what the scholarship offers that really caught my eye, that really um, made me want to pursue it is just the idea that you're studying. I mean, the opportunity to do a master's degree in South Africa is not something everyone gets to do. So there's that opportunity to further your studies, but also to learn from the absolute best people who work in the policy sphere in international relations and foreign policy. I actually found out about it through the CAS Careers Evening. They had it online last year because of the pandemic and a few of the scholars actually shared their experience and, I, and they shared the flyer and that's how I applied. I was actually nominated by my head of department of political science at Stellenbosch University um, for the scholarship. The Konrad Adenauer Foundation has decided to start a new regional program for Sub-Sahara Africa, working in more or less all uh, countries in the region and the idea is to strengthen the dialogue. We have a long-standing collaboration with uh, the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung that started in 1999, so really over, over two decades. So the internship and the scholarship is structured in a way that ensures that the, the successful candidates complete their master's degree uh, at one of their uh, universities of choice, but also critically that they're exposed to a work environment and to a research environment. The Konrad Adenauer Foundation is a value-based organization where we check if the values of the students fit to our values and then there is a uh, selection process, tough, very tough selection process. So we had hundreds of uh, candidates at this time and finally we took six, uh, six uh, scholars so that means that uh, it was quite some uh, competition. The interview process, it was very tough, it was very rigorous, um, but throughout the process I really had a sense that both organisations, both CAS and both SIA, really wanted candidates who can um, contribute to, to both organisations. Everyone was very, very pleasant and friendly on the interview and asked me things about um, like what I've been studying, what I've been researching and other relevant topics to South Africa. So I quite enjoyed it actually. <laughs> They wanted to hear what I had to say and why I wanted to join SIA and why I wanted to be a representative of CAS. I anticipate a lot of excitement, um, a lot of experience and a lot of whole work, uh, hard work in between. Well, the fact that um, they pay for my studies and uh, above all of that, they give me in, an internship. So I thought that I would be hitting two birds with one stone. I learn what people are doing in the, in the think tank field and with research because I am very passionate about research and especially environmental research and things to do with the climate and all that kind of stuff. This is really important for me because this is the first scholarship I've ever gotten to actually get recognition from a very tight selection is very important. Coming from a social science background, when you finish your degree, you don't know where to go next. You don't know where to go professionally or whether you should continue with education. And what CAS and SIA have done is they've brought those two worlds together to give you the business side experience, but also to allow you to finish your degree and continue finding what part of politics you want to be in. As a, a student in my undergrad, a lot of people said, oh no, that's not the kind of area that you want to be working in. Oh no, there's no jobs in that in South Africa but it was something that I was passionate about, um, specifically South African foreign policy, and seeing the people at SIA, this is what they do on a daily basis. And so for them to say, yes, we're giving you a chance, we want you to come in and learn from us and you know, make a future for yourself in this industry, it means the absolute world to sort of, I don't know, be recognized for that sort of passion. Well, my advice would be know what you want know what you want to get into after your honours. Before the interview, just try relax, be yourself. Make sure you know what both organisations stand for, um, what the research focuses of, um, of SIA are, what you would like to do when you are at SIA. I am very grateful to have gotten the scholarship. It's nice to see that my hard work at university um, and just in general life has been recognised in some sort of way. If you're thinking of applying for the CAS SIA scholarship, 100% do it. Um, we haven't even started properly yet, but I know this is going to be probably one of the best years of my life. So definitely give it a go if you are fortunate enough to be awarded the scholarship.